evangelical preacher led nearly a thousand followers from the United States deep into the jungles of South America. Well, how about you? Is the best thing ever happened to you? They would build a new community, free of oppression and violence. It was to be their paradise on Earth. I wanted to leave as soon as I got there. I was in an armed encampment. But outsiders threatened to expose the dark side of their leader. We are going into Jonestown. And if any of your family members want to come home, then by God, we're going to bring them home. You people are going to just, just leave us. They're killing everyone! In one day, two worlds collided, and paradise was lost. Know that you have never, <laughs> never been loved so much as I love you right now. The People's Temple was a wonderful mosaic of the whole spectrum of humanity. It was a dream that died on November 18th, 1978. of mass suicide was quite real. Now, this morning, there are fresh reports. Jones ordered a mass suicide. 914 people were murdered or drank Kool-Aid laced with poison. A lot of the children were crying, and uh, he was telling them not to tell the children that they were dying, not to tell them it was painful, and that people had to die with dignity. In November 1978, reporters around the world broke the news that Jim Jones and more than 900 of his followers died. By the late 1960s and early 70s, the streets of America erupted in violence and civil strife. The war in Vietnam, civil rights marches and political assassinations played out on television. Out of this turmoil, thousands of Americans flocked to hear the sermons of a charismatic preacher named Jim Jones. A fiery orator, Jones's early speeches were a mixture of socialist ideals and Christian redemption. If there was anything universal about the temple experience and what it was that drew people, it was on some level, we were all wanting to belong. Some turn to the temple because they need help. Others want to serve humanity. Whatever they need, Jim Jones and his People's Temple seem to have it. The only way it's going to get better is through us and what we can do in the world. And, and that was everything from gradual social change to violent revolution to um, cleaning up after nuclear fallout. Jim Jones claimed special powers to heal the sick and dying. Staged healings were a popular attraction at temple meetings. A guy like my dad found out what you wanted to hear and see and showed it to you. Whatever you were looking for or whatever you were running from or running toward, dad had an uncanny ability to hook into that. It's exhilarating. 
and very attractive. Once you get hooked by that, it's really hard to uh, get unhooked. As his popularity grew, Jim Jones preached less about the Bible and more about social activism. He called himself a prophet, a savior who would guide, protect, and watch over his followers. I want you to be like I am. I want you to become what I am. I want you to enjoy the fearlessness that I have, the courage that I have, the compassion that I have, the love that I have, the all-encompassing mercy that I am. I want you to be what I am and something greater. Jim Jones's devoted followers referred to him as father. Many signed over their paychecks, possessions, even their homes. But at the height of his power, a darker side of Jim Jones emerged. Former Temple members accused Jones of physical and sexual abuse, mind control, and forced druggings. In 1977, as media interest grew, Jim Jones and hundreds of his supporters left San Francisco, California. They set out for Guyana, determined to build a new community in the South American country. In the middle of the jungle, 150 miles from the capital of Georgetown, People's Temple built what was to be a socialist paradise on Earth. They called it Jonestown, after their leader. Because of Father's example here in Guyana, we're building equipment and doing things to feed hungry people and set up a little town, an actual community or a country of our own where we can live the way we like to live with our own lifestyle, not to be interfered with people from the outside and to help starving masses of the world. As the allegations in the United States intensified, temple members continued to flock to the remote outpost. Labeling the attacks as a government conspiracy to topple People's Temple, Jones and many of his followers denied the charges. It's the most beautiful place I've ever been in all my life. There's so many wonderful things about it. This is a beautiful place here, and it's, it's fun over here. It's really good. There, I do not want to go back in any way, shape, or form to, uh, to the States. I can't help but say that none of this would have been possible had it not been for Jim Jones. existence lay in the hands of those who perceived him. I think people need to understand that every hour of the day, Jim Jones thought he was a fraud. He knew he was a bad guy. He knew he was a sick guy. He just didn't want anybody else to know. had joined People's Temple in 1974 and had been living in Jonestown for eight months. The term White Knight was a term used for, like, an extreme emergency. There would be a siren or um, an announcement to come to the pavilion immediately, and there was a life and death situation. It was something where the community was being threatened, and we had to make an immediate decision about a course of action and it would usually be all of the night. White nights were used by Jim Jones to create an atmosphere of fear and desperation amongst his followers. The white nights sometimes included rehearsals for mass suicide, which Jones considered a test of faith and loyalty. that 
you will ever have, and I'm trying on every level to protect this community. Are you with me? Are you with me? There were people with guns and rifles surrounding the uh, assembly. People that I knew for years uh, with guns. And they weren't pointed outward, they were pointed inward. And so there was a sense of an armed encampment. After the death of his wife, Vern Gosney arrived in Jonestown with his four-year-old son. I, I was very vulnerable. I decided I was going to go to Jonestown, and they were going to make me be a good socialist. Whatever I was lacking within myself would be instilled in me by living in Jonestown. I wanted to leave as soon as I got there. I was not free to leave, nor was anyone. I had confided in um, my roommate that I wanted to leave, and that was taking a huge, huge risk. He had at one time attempted to escape, and he was punished so severely that he was literally frightened out of his mind. Jonestown Paradise Lost is brought to you in part by Krylon. Finally, someone took all the benefits of latex paint and poured them into a convenient spray can. Krylon H2O latex spray paint cleans up easily with soap and water, dries quickly, and has virtually no odor. Plus provides a smooth, beautiful finish that'll last for years to come, indoors or out. Krylon H2O Latex. It's everything a spray paint should be. Well, the Verizon Wireless Family Share Plan just got bigger, so I signed us up. Now you can IM and send text, pics, and flicks messages to anyone on any network as much as you want. But we do that already. Yeah, but now we can afford for mom to quit her second job. Hola. <laughs> Now get unlimited IM, text, pics, and flicks to anyone in the U.S. on any network with a new family share plan. Plus, buy one Samsung and choose another of equal or lesser value free. Verizon Wireless. Oh, yeah. Now through April 30th, simply sign your name. During the Lincoln Signature event. Now drive any 07 Lincoln with zero cash due at signing. Including the new Lincoln MKZ with its award-winning interior. Get zero first month's payment, zero down, and zero cash due at signing on Lincoln MKZ for $386 a month. Offer ends April 30th. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. Your lawn, threatened by two types of weeds. Most weed killers control either lawn weeds or crabgrass, but not both. Why do half the job when Bear Advanced All-in-One Lawn Weed and Crabgrass Killer does it all? Backed by Bear's proven science, it's the only ready-to-spray product that eliminates lawn weeds plus crabgrass without harming your lawn. Just hook to your hose and go. Nothing's faster or easier for a weed-free lawn. Bear Advanced. Better science, better results. Introducing the 2007 Cadillac CTS Bose Edition, complete with a Bose sound system, sunroof, leather and wood trim, and a 3.6 liter engine. Keep your ears on the road. Visit your Middle Tennessee Cadillac dealer for this attractive offer. Inspiration pulled from your life. That's professional grade. Welcome to Acadia, the crossover from GMC. With the handling and smooth ride of a luxury sedan and 35% better highway fuel economy than Nissan or Toyota, you'll never compromise again. Now get an 07 Acadia SLE with the GM 100,000 mile warranty starting at just $29,490. See your select Pontiac GMC dealers. Signal an immediate attack. Sherman did not burn Atlanta to the ground. Sherman's March, tomorrow at 9, as only the History Channel can bring you.
November 14, 1978, U.S. Congressman Leo J. Ryan, along with his aide, Jackie Spear, flew to Guyana to investigate allegations of abuse within the temple. The delegation included relatives who were determined to see that their loved ones were free to come and go as they pleased. Jim Jones considered the group a direct threat, bent on his and the movement's destruction. Fourteen relatives, some former temple members who spoke out against Jones, accompanied Ryan. Members of the U.S. media covered the trip, including Don Harris from NBC, an American television network, and Tim Reiterman, a reporter on assignment for the San Francisco Examiner. Jim Jones initially presented People's Temple as an extraordinary institution. And he was someone who was viewed as a little eccentric uh, because he went around with bodyguards and he wore dark glasses, whether it was the sun was out or not. Think he's got something to hide? Mm, what do you think? You spoke with him? Yeah, on the radio, once. Figures we're out to get him. Congressman Ryan's trip was designed to find out whether allegations from ex-members were true, that Jim Jones controlled the members through disciplinary beatings, forcing them to turn over their property, and in some cases, custody of their children, and whether he was threatening people with death if they would leave the organization. Uh, we're about to land in Georgetown. It's been a long road for many of you. Your, your loved ones are down there. And I just want to let you know that we're going to do everything we can to make sure they're safe, they're happy, and they're being well looked after. In other words, we still don't have an official invite. You know, let me tell you something right now. Not as your congressman, but as your friend. We're going into Jonestown. And if any of your family members want to come home, well, by God, we're going to bring them home. Congressman, I just wanted to say to thank you. This wouldn't have happened without you. Really? Oh, sure. She's going to be 22 in a week. You always hope yours are going to turn out all right. Your ex? Yeah. She was Linda when I knew her. Now she's Sharon. Jones made her do that. You know what? You know this other girl called Linda? Didn't like her. So now, no one can be called Linda. Well, don't you worry about a thing, Sherwin. Everything's going to be just fine. Sherwin Harris was attempting to visit his daughter, Leanne, who was living in Jonestown. People's Temple was something that started out apparently to be a good thing and just turned into a nightmare. In 1978, my daughter was 21 years old. My daughter, Leanne, was brought into the People's Temple by her mother, who was one of the initial members. I had what I considered a strange relationship with my daughter. And there was always a distance between us. There was always something strange going on. It was clearly, you know, a dangerous situation. At this point, we knew that guns had been transmitted there. Uh, we knew what their attitudes were. We knew that they were talking, that they were Marxist and revolutionaries and people that acted brutally towards their own members. So I don't think there was any illusions on, on any of our parts. of Guyana was cloaked in religious terms. It was the promised land, the land of milk and honey, the land where we're going to uh, build a society that's really just. We worked from sun up to sundown. We ate rice three times a day. It's, it's hard to really convey the remoteness of that place. There was no means of communication with the outside world. Oh, well, why didn't you leave? It's so horrible, it's so terrible. How could you put yourself in that position when actually 
We were working for a cause that we believed in. It's like taking people to the limit and then moving that line and then moving that line and then moving that line and wanting so desperately to believe in the dream and not seeing that the dream has become a nightmare. A handful of temple members were permitted to form a basketball team. Amongst them was Jim Jones's 19-year-old son, Stephen. Days before the arrival of the Ryan delegation, Stephen and the basketball team left for Georgetown to play a series of games against the Guyanese national squad. Dad was worried about the basketball team leaving and going into Georgetown. He knew the congressman was coming. I'm sure he feared that we might turn against him. And fortunately, Mom saw that happening. And Mom had really made this her cause to get us out of there. You have in your hands the opportunity to make or break Jonestown, but you have to show a lot of character, a lot of character and grace. I've seen tremendous growth in you, Stephen. Now, what you want to do is when they score a goal, you um, give a little clap and you, you run right back to your post. Now remember, boys, when the other team scores, just give them a little clap. Just like that, a little clap. Believe me, fellas, I had a little clap in my day. Don't let him provoke you. He's trying to find a reason to keep you from going. Mm -hmm. Be the better man. Keep your eye on them. On who? Anybody is capable of putting a bullet into your head. And if you see any of those relatives, those, those liars, you don't have anything to do with them. You understand? You did well. Goodbye, my baby. You take care of yourself. I'll see you real soon. I remember saying goodbye to her. I remember a long moment of just us looking at each other. I remember tears in her eyes and tears of my own. I remember each of us saying that we'll see you soon. Um, me believing it. I, looking back, I don't think she did believe that would happen. I honestly think she thought she was getting us out of there before all hell broke loose. Considered by many to be a great general, leader, and war hero. Yet there are those who consider him a butcher, a terrorist, and a war criminal. Which side is the truth? You decide. Sherman's March, tonight at 9, as only the History Channel can bring you. relieving arthritis pain, you may think some prescription NSAID pain relievers like ibuprofen and naproxen don't have any cardiovascular risks. But based on the available research, that's not clear. And if you look closer, the FDA requires all these NSAID pain relievers, including Celebrex, to have the same cardiovascular warning. Any prescription NSAID, including Celebrex, may increase the chance of heart attack or stroke, which can lead to death. This chance increases if you have heart disease or risk factors for it, such as high blood pressure or when NSAIDs are taken for long periods. All NSAIDs, including Celebrex, also increase the chance of serious skin reactions or stomach and intestine problems, such as bleeding and ulcers, which can occur without warning and may cause death. With any of these medicines, patients also taking aspirin in the elderly are at increased risk for stomach bleeding and ulcers. While all NSAIDs have some of the same warnings, they all treat arthritis pain. But since individual results may vary, having options is important. An NSAID like Celebrex may be one option. In fact, prescription Celebrex has never been taken off the market. 
Based on the available data, the FDA stated that for certain patients, Celebrex's benefits outweigh the risks. But only you and your doctor can make that decision. Let's dive deeper. In clinical studies, a lower percentage of patients on Celebrex reported indigestion, abdominal pain, and nausea versus prescription ibuprofen and naproxen. Celebrex can be used with low-dose aspirin. Other prescription NSAIDs aren't generally recommended with aspirin. Celebrex relieves arthritis pain, stiffness, and inflammation. Just one 200 milligram dose provides 24-hour relief. Do not take Celebrex if you're pregnant or have had allergic reactions to aspirin or sulfonamides. And tell your doctor if you've had kidney or liver problems. For many with arthritis pain, not treating is not an option. Talk to your doctor about Celebrex and see what's right for you. Understand the risks, see the benefits. plane the first person I saw was my ex-wife and she was one of their leaders she was pretty much the true believer the fanatic if you will the type of person who could strap the dynamite on and walk in and take the whole room out that's the degree of commitment when we were in Guyana my concern was to see my daughter to that end, I contacted my ex-wife, I phoned her. No, I'm not trying to tear anybody apart. I'm not against anybody. Would you stop that, please? I am here, <laughs> I'm here to see Leanne. Lynn, Sh Sharon, I'm not gonna argue with you. I've just flown thousands of miles to see my daughter, and I'm going to see her. And neither you, nor the temple, nor Jim Jones Almighty himself is going to stop me, all right? Do you hear me? Then hear me. She's my daughter, too, and I am going to see her tomorrow. If I have to go to Jonestown myself, I am going to see her. Good night. I wasn't really concerned about getting into Jonestown as much as seeing my daughter. I wanted to spend the time that I had there with my daughter and also to discover fully what was going on. But I love my daughter very much. I was committed to my daughter. Uh, you can't believe from the moment of her birth, I got that her life depended on me. It, it's just that simple and I was committed to her. I was very young when she was born, but it didn't matter. I would move heaven and earth. The People's Temple owned a house in the capital of Georgetown, which functioned as a way station for temple members moving in and out of Jonestown. Residents of the house included Sherwin Harris's ex-wife. Come on, back to And his daughter Leanne's stepsister Kristen and a younger stepbrother, Martin. Come in, Jonestown. This is Georgetown. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They're here. They're determined to get in. White night. 
I had confided in um, my roommate that I wanted to leave, and he confided in someone else. What's going on? And that was Monica. Dono? I have got to get out of here. I didn't trust anyone. Everybody was watching everyone. I had never had a conversation with Monica. Got a plan? Hell no. I thought you did. And we began to talk to each other and bolster each other about wanting to leave. For many in Jonestown, the reality was at least as bad as the press reports. From what I've seen, what was reported was true. And it wasn't good such as torture, abuse, uh, deceit, uh, theft, fake healings, drugging of people, punishing of children, the drumming up of fear. Jim Jones used fear as his chief method of controlling his people, especially those with thoughts of returning to the United States. It was just one account after another of how horrible the United States was becoming. Um, concentration camps were being constructed for people of color. The borders were being patrolled by racist organizations like the Ku Klux Klan, you know, and when that failed, the message was, well, nuclear war is just around the corner, and we were in one of the safest places um, to ride out nuclear holocaust. Jim Jones, determined to keep prying eyes away from his settlement, rallied Temple members to sign a petition demanding that Congressman Ryan and his delegation stay out of Jonestown. I want to see how many of you will sign right now, right now, and say no, no, I will not go back. The conditions at Jonestown were not conducive for someone to think clearly or sharply. No, I will not see any of my relatives. This is what you have to do, because if your relatives come with Congressman Ryan, if your relatives come with him, then your relatives, your relatives are no better than he is. I was unclear about what the plan exactly was, but my focus was of the congressman and getting his assistance. There was a point at which my father sent orders, funneled through the radio room, everything came through there, and Sharon Amos, that we were to return to Jonestown. The basketball team was ordered to come back. I want you to come home. Why? Why? You need it here is why. Now, McElveen's coming back first thing in the morning. I want you to be on the truck with him. The whole damn bunch of you. Look, you said it yourself. We're good PR, Dad. All there is to We're having a good time. We're playing basketball. Talk to him. Stephen, I think you better come back. You don't know what's happening here, Stephen. We really need you. We're staying, Mom. We got a game against the national team tomorrow. How's it going to look if we just hightail it out of here? Besides. You don't need to speak for him. Well, it's up to you. No, it is not up to him! I do not want him having anything to do with that congressman or with the relatives. I want him back here now! You don't give a damn what happens here! I knew, had known for a long time, my father was nuts. I'm one that believes he was... He was sick from very early on. By the time the congressman came, he only had a few more months at the rate he was going with his drug use. He was just slowly killing himself on drugs. Who do you think's keeping this place together? I am! I am keeping this damn place together! I know I sent him closer to the edge by refusing to come back at that time. There was no denying that he was losing control. And to a man like my father, it must have been like he was sinking in, a, in, in quicksand, grabbing at nothing.
Stone summoned People's Temple lawyer Charles Gary to handle Congressman Ryan's visit to Jonestown. But Jones suddenly reversed course and denied entry. What do you mean we're not going to Jonestown? The only damn reason I came here is to take Ryan to Jonestown. Who the hell changed it, Sharon? You? Jim did, all right? Uh, listen to me, Jim. I'm a righteous man. I'm a... We are we are righteous people, and traitors they they come to destroy what we. Yeah, we cannot allow them. They they want to steal our children. Jim, so long, so long, so long. Jim, cut it. Now what I'm going to say is very simple. You've got two alternatives. Now the first is you can tell the Congress, the United States, to go to hell. You can tell the media to go to hell, which is what you've been doing all along over my objections. You can tell the concerned relatives to go to hell. But if you do that, I cannot live with it. I, it's the end of the line. I won't be with you. Now, the second alternative is what I've been urging you to do all along. You can let the media in. You can let the congressmen in. You can let the concerned relatives in. And you can let them see for themselves what a beautiful place we have there. Calm, calm down, then. I, I don't know what I'm, I'm going to do. Just calm down. Finally, we got word after negotiations between the congressmen and the people's temples, lawyers, and Jones, that we would be allowed to head into Jonestown. Leanne's coming here. No, no, that, that's, that's fine. I don't need to go to Jonestown. No, if she's coming here, then I'll just stay here. Okay. Lunch is... Lunch, dinner. I really don't care. Oh, hold on. Hold on. One second. Okay, go ahead. Bye -bye. Gardens. find it yes okay and Linda Sharon thank you Bye. when I got that information that my daughter was going to come down on uh, Saturday there was no reason in my mind to, at that point, to go to Jonestown. Now, if it turned out I was being lied to and she didn't show up on Saturday, I'm going to Jonestown. I'm going wherever I need to go. I'm going to find my daughter. Sherman's March, tonight at 9, as only the History Channel can bring you. Why live with athlete's foot? The itching, the burning. Lotrimin Ultra treats most athlete's foot in just one week's use. New Lamisil Defense, four long weeks. But Lotrimin Ultra is so powerful, nothing cures faster. Lotrimin Ultra, the one week killer cure. Welcome Davis. Can I help you, sir? I wanna rock! I'll take this one. Davis gives you free music downloads on iTunes, so you can rock every time you roll. Krylon Fusion is the revolutionary paint that bonds to plastic on a molecular level. Without any sanding or priming, its unique formula provides a smooth finish that won't flake off. Krylon Fusion, the no-prep super bond paint for plastic. Once upon a time, there was this idea. One of those proverbial big ideas. 
idea so big that it needed help making the leap between possibility and reality. This big idea, it's your idea. Now who's going to help you make it real? New Fruit 2O Energy. Rich in B vitamins and flavor. It's the only vitamin enhanced water with this amount of calories. Zero. New Fruit 2O Energy. Only New Fruit 2O Hydration gives you vitamins, electrolytes, flavor, and something else. Zero calories. New Fruit 2O Hydration. Now through April 30th, simply sign your name during the Lincoln Signature event. Now drive any 07 Lincoln with zero cash due at signing, including the new Lincoln MKZ with its award-winning interior. Get zero first month's payment, zero down, and zero cash due at signing on Lincoln MKZ for $386 a month. Offer ends April 30th. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. Scalpel. Sponge. I'm picking De La Hoya. Doctor, I'm picking Mayweather. It's Mayweather! It's De La Hoya! Roger that. I'm picking Mayweather. It's De La Hoya! The world is talking. The crowd's getting their money's worth in Vegas. De La Hoya Mayweather. The world awaits. Who are you picking? Mayweather. Absolutely. De La Hoya. Definitely. Get in on all of the action. Call 1-877-SAVE-181 to order today. A lesson for parents. Be the boss of your remote control. There's a lot you can do. Yes, you can surf the channels with it, but did you know your cable or satellite remote can help you control what your children watch? It's pretty easy. First, hit menu or settings. Then, scroll through the on-screen options to set the parental controls and your password. You can block the programming by channel or rating, or block the programming by setting the V-chip in your TV. Be the boss of what your kids watch on TV. Learn more at the TVBoss.org. Congressman Ryan chartered a plane to transport relatives and journalists to Jonestown. Hey, folks, plane's ready. More than 150 okay. miles deep into the jungle. He says the Constitution, Whatever. the Constitution gives him the right to come down here and see us because we are American taxpayers. Well, I see the Constitution does not give him the right to go wherever he is not invited. <laughs> You cannot win! You know what? We don't have to tell him anything anyway. We don't have to tell him anything. And you know what? I don't know how long he's going to stay, but I can assure you, if he stays long enough for tea, he is going to regret it. Know that you have never, never been loved so much as I love you right now. Amen! I love you. Monica, myself, and my roommate did have a meeting about Ryan coming. The plan was I was going to slip the congressman a note asking for his help to leave. This is our chance. Monica? Keith? What about your son, Vern? If I tell him, he might report us. I wrote the note. Vernon Gosney, Monica Bagby, help us get out of Jonestown. And that was the note. He's better off here anyway. I didn't know whether 
to take my son was the right thing to do or not, I... I wasn't thinking clearly. When we flew over the jungle, it became pretty clear how remote and inaccessible Jonestown really was. The plane touched down at an isolated airstrip more than five miles from Jonestown. When we finally landed on a small dirt airstrip in Port Kaituma, it became clear how difficult it would have been for anyone to leave Jonestown. When a truckload of People's Temple members pulled up with a flatbed, we expected that we'd be moving on quickly to Jonestown and, and uh, started unpacking our gear. Tugs and Ryan. I'm Corporal Emo Rutter, uh, the guy in East uh, Defense Force. Oh, thank you very much for coming to meet us. Uh, I've been instructed to inform you that only uh, Mr. Gary is to board the truck for Jonestown. Look, we're a uh, congressional uh, delegation. We're here to inquire into the uh, health and welfare of the people of Jonestown. My, my instructions are clear. Well, who are you getting your instructions from? Please return to the plane. Uh, Congressman Ryan, the assistant here, can come with us. Uh, Mr. Gary, I was told... Uh, only... Never mind what you've been told. I'm telling you, if you catch any grief, I'll be right there. Congressman. And what about the others? Uh, I'm working on it. Thank you. Don't try and come on your own. Clearly at that point, we were not welcome. All we could do was wait. Yep. Finally, within a few hours, the truck returned to the airstrip. Anybody that wants to come to Johnstown, climb on. And we were allowed to board it, and we rode toward Jonestown with several members of the temple. Let's go! I think everyone recognized that there was a potential for danger. entering a place where not only were we surrounded by miles of jungle, but we also were in the control of Jim Jones and his members. And as a practical matter, it would be hard to get out without their permission. into Jonestown. My first impression was that this place had taken a tremendous amount of work to produce, to make something from scratch in the middle of nowhere was an impressive feat. Attention, attention, attention. The reporters are arriving. Some of them will want to take pictures, so anyone who doesn't want their picture taken will be excused. Okay. There were hundreds of people around the pavilion, and we were escorted there directly to the Reverend Jim Jones. Jim, the uh, gentleman of the press of arrived. This is Don Harris, NBC News. Nice to meet Jim. Reverend Jones, Tim Ryder, man. Read many of your stories. I guess you can only print what they tell you. Well, we tried to get your side of the story. Haven't had much success. That's why I'm here. See the mission for myself. Good. A lot of people have found it to be beautiful. Paradise. He was very cordial, but it was still disturbing to see that he appeared weak. What really concerned me was the way he 
spoke. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Why did you decide to let us in now, a year after my first request? What do we got to lose? No barbed wire here. We don't have three, let alone 300 who want to leave. We're not violent. We don't do violence to anyone. But ageism, sexism, racism have all been eliminated. Elitism is almost eliminated. We're Marxist in the sense of sharing work and in the distribution of goods and services. What about the threats of mass suicide, Reverend? I only said that it will be better that we commit suicide than kill. Why, why hurt social progress? He started speaking in a paranoid fashion about his enemies and began to quietly sort of rant about them. I, I curse the day I was born. I, I don't know why these people hate me so. In some ways, I, I feel like a, well, like a dying man. You don't need to put a bullet in my head. Thank you. It was disturbing to, to hear him sort of put a a figurative gun in the hands of those of us who had come to Jonestown to visit. It was also disturbing to hear someone who had the lives of so many people in his hands speak that way. The plan was I was going to slip uh, the congressman a note asking for his help. In my state of mind, didn't know who was her, who at that time yet. I see someone who I think is the congressman who's walking around the perimeter of the assembly. If I passed the note and it was unsuccessful, I knew I would be killed. There was no doubt about it. I would be... I would be killed. district back in California and uh, we'd like for you to say a few words to us. Uh, it wasn't until later and that I found out that that individual was was not the congressman. Congressman Ryan. Thank you Marcelin. I'm not used to making public speeches. <laughs> Yeah, don't give me that here, I guess. I'm very glad to be here. I've already met a former student of mine. I've already met a former classmate of one of my daughters from Mills High School in Burlingame. This is a congressional inquiry. I think all of you know that I'm here to find out more about questions that have been raised about your operations here. But I can tell you right now that from the conversations I've had with some of the folks here already tonight, that no matter what the comments are, that there are some people here who believe that this is the best thing that's ever happened to them in their whole lives. Ryan spoke. I was approached by Congressman Ryan. Is your name Vernon Gosling? Did you give this man a note asking to leave those out? Yes, sir. And let me tell you, you've got seats on the first plane out of here tomorrow. Congressman Ryan had no idea of what he had walked into at all. I'm not sure we should wait till tomorrow, Congressman. We've got a lot of work to do here. You're in danger. You have to know that. It'll be fine. We're in the protection of the U.S. Congress. Tomorrow. And it was 
apparent after talking to him that he couldn't really conceive the level of danger that he was in. Jonestown Paradise Lost is brought to you by the all-new 2008 Land Rover LR2. where there's skeletons on the outside. Yeah! <laughs> Orkin, knowledge is our best weapon. Just one ride on the Yamaha Grizzly 700 Fi with power steering, and you won't ride anything else. That's because it's the world's first ATV ever with fuel injection and power steering. For a ride so comfortable, you have to feel it to believe it. The Grizzly 700 Fi. One ride, and you won't be comfortable riding anything else. Now get payments as low as $69 a month, plus cash back on select models. With the Trio 700P and the Verizon Wireless Network behind you, work, family, and everything in between is right at your fingertips. And it's all on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. The Trio 700P smartphone. It's the perfect device for the business of your life. Verizon Wireless. It's the network. Hey, Coach. Hey, Jeff. This year, I'm going big. Follow me? Okay. Oh, I could use some of these. Grab a bunch of those, these. These do well in bright sun? Sure, these love sun. And all our plans come with a one-year guarantee. What's the plan, man? It's top secret. Can't really tell you. Are you going to give me any hints? You'll see. Oh, these are cool, too. Let the trained nursery specialist at Lowe's help you make any outdoor project a home run. So what do you think? <laughs> it's big. Couldn't have done without you. Lowe's. Let's build something together. Go to Lowe'sHomeInvestment.com and register to win $2,500 in Lowe's gift cards through April 30th. What would you call a refreshing beer with more taste than Bud Light and yet only half the carbs? Well, you could call it the original light beer. No, or you could just call it by its name. Miller Light. Miller Light. Good call. We're all over it. Not to worry. Yes, the team is with me. We got it covered. Who's he talking to? The boss. I thought the boss was at a board meeting. He is at a board meeting. Uh -oh. They're asking about our global integration plan. Do not worry. Do we have a global integration plan? It's more like a deck. A deck? A draft, really. A deck is only a draft? Afraid so. It's not only doable, it's practically done. We better get started. Your precious lawn. Destroyed by two types of insects. Only Bear Advanced Complete Insect Killer provides maximum protection against both. Other leading brands stop at the surface, allowing damage to continue. But Complete's unique two-way action controls destructive pests above ground, plus penetrates to control root-destroying pests for up to three months, guaranteed. Damage ends, your lawn flourishes. That's the beauty of better science. Bear Advanced. Better science, better results. Signal an immediate attack! Sherman is a brilliant fellow, but he's really high strung. The soldiers get completely out of control. Sherman did not burn Atlanta to the ground. Sherman's March, tonight at 9, as only the History Channel can bring you. Saturday, the last day, my eyes just bad I wondered just how many other people might want to leave. The thing is, Ryan told me someone else, aside from this burn guy, approached him. Morning out? Yeah, check it. Morning. Sleep all right? Oh, that was the softest hardwood floor a man could ask for. <laughs> Marceline Jones, who was uh, Jim Jones' wife, took some of us uh, throughout the encampment. 
This is my pride and joy, I, I don't mind saying. This is the first home to all 33 children born here in Jonestown. Marceline Jones was clearly proud of everything that had been built in Jonestown. The school and the nursery, the clinic that provided health care for children that seemed to be what inspired her and sustained her. That's some pretty advanced reading. Those are some pretty advanced kids. Hey. Oh, hi. I'll take him from here, Vernon. I, I think you're needed back at the pavilion, aren't you? We also have a large nursing staff, of course. We could always use more. There are almost 300 children here in Jonestown. Tim, cut me out. Tim's going on. Okay. Um, would you like to uh, see the dispensary? I, excuse me. You bring those kids back here! You bring them back! One second, one second. Don't you get back here! Within hours, um, it became clear that more than just two people who slipped a note to a reporter wanted to come out. some entire families who stepped forward and informed the congressman that they wanted to leave with us. I'm all right. I'm, I'm just going to just say goodbye to some. And the tension just radiated out from Jones and those groups of potential defectors. The whole place was paralyzed. Come. Stay put. I'm going to come have a word with you later, all right? You don't go anywhere right now. I want to talk to you and ask you some questions. Right. I want to talk to you. Why are you doing this? Uh, are you lovers? No. No. Because you, you can have a, a relationship here. No, we're not lovers. Don't you talk to any of the reporters. All right, they're liars. They're all liars. You don't have to say anything. Even the ones who lie, they always come back. They always do. Always have a place here. All right. I signed a document that I was leaving my son there of my own free will. I didn't know if I was doing the right thing. And I signed it. How many you got, Congressman? I think we're going to need another plane. As time went on, probably about a dozen people had stepped forward, and they were insistent on leaving. My name is Monica Bagby. I wish to leave Jonestown of my own free will and return to the United States. Is that it? Um, my name is Vernon Gosney, and I wish to leave Jonestown of my own free will and return to the United States. I was of a divided mind. On one hand, I thought my son is black and he's going to be subject to the racism of the uh, United States government. And I thought that this was the better place for him to be. I didn't know. I was confused. What now? Now we pack up. Truck's leaving soon. I don't think I ought to go alone. No, neither. That lady said she'd go with me. You ought to get someone, too. When the door swung open, there was a number of security guards within the cottage. I was petrified. I was in extreme fear 
and terror. Potential defectors began gathering up their belongings. NBC conducted an interview Bob? with Jim Jones in the pavilion. Okay, we're ready to go. Well, you never accomplished what you set out. I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I mean, we wanted to fade out at the, the whole arena of public attention, but obviously we haven't because of lies. I never, never understood how people could lie with such total freedom and conviction. As the interview went on, Jones grew more and more tense. That's a lie. It's a lie. Who, who conspired to kill Dr. Martin Luther King, uh, Malcolm X, John Kennedy? Every agency in the whole government has given us a hard time. Somebody just doesn't like socialism. I think it was sinking in, if it hadn't already, that this visit was not going to play well outside Jonestown. We heard that security guards with guns had gone around to the houses and warned people no, not no, to cross. Nobody came to see people with guns. I, I strictly prohibited guns. You don't have to shoot me. Because the media smear does it. I, I've given my life for people. Serving people. Are you people gonna just, just leave us? I just beg you, please, just leave us. I'm gonna go say goodbye to them. them. Hi, I'm Rick. Can I answer any questions on your new CRM system? Not really. It's pretty intuitive. Got any questions for me? Heard the blitzes are good. Can I answer any questions for you? Our system. Closing deals left and right. With the right software, people can train less and accomplish more. Sometimes I think grown-ups have more fun than kids. They get to do cool stuff, like go on cruises. And ride motorcycles. My mom and dad travel all over the country to see their favorite band. My grandpa went back to school and actually likes it. Yeah, grown-ups have it made. They get to play whenever they want. And the best part is when they spend time playing with me. And me. And me. Make the most out of life. AARP can show you how. Meet new people, learn new things, explore new places, and more. Join us in championing your future and the future of every generation. Introducing more horsepower than a Cord or Camry. Introducing 32 highway miles per gallon. Introducing standard side curtain airbags. Introducing a price that's over $1,000 less than a Cord or Camry. The all-new Chrysler Sebring. So many new features, formal introductions were in order. The all-new Chrysler Sebring, starting at $18,995. Discover America's hottest products at your Chrysler dealer. IDR Media is the official publisher of the Verizon Yellow Pages and home to superpages.com, delivering billions of print and online searches every year. So anywhere, anytime, find the answers you need and the things you want from your home or anywhere else. IDR Media. Cliff, leaving us after 36 years and taking all of that know-how with you. No matter how slammed we got, 
He ran his floor like a well-oiled machine. Holiday rush. It was midnight. <laughs> and a huge shipment. A master of logistics. Can you do Cliff? <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. What are we going to do without Cliff? When I started out, I had a worksheet and a ballpoint pen. But now we have a system that has all my processes, inventory tracking, change orders, just like that. You'll be fine. I'm going fishing. But the right software. A people-ready business keeps right on humming. I want to go fishing. What? You think you saw a pink elephant? Must be spring fever, or it could be the incredible deals at Hickory Hollow Kia. I can customize any dealer's promotions to fit your needs, whether it's $9,000 off, two for one, 8,000 minimum trade-in. I can make any of them work for you. Now, all you need to do is decide on who you want to do business with. Ten-year, 100,000-mile warranty priced thousands less than the competition. Honey, what is up with this pink elephant? Honey, it's Hickory Hollow Carnival Kia at the big corner of I-24 in Bell Road. And please, don't you leave till you see me. Hey, Mom, SpongeBob's at Burger King. Can we go? As soon as your dad's done. Yes. Hey, honey. Guess who I am? Who am I? SpongeBob, no pants. Wow. And I live under the sea, honey, in a pineapple. SpongeBob, no pants. SpongeBob fever is spreading. Grab some tasty chicken fries and toys, only at BK. Sherman's March, tonight at 9 as only the History Channel can bring you. Drive down! Hey, shoot the plane down! I met with my son briefly, and... See you soon, okay? Well, he wasn't of an age where I could tell him what was happening. I just... I hugged him. I said goodbye to him. And that was the last time that I saw him. I, um... I don't know what else to say about that moment. I just ask you, could I get your reaction on what's going on here today? Did you try to stop anyone from leaving? No. I feel sorry we're being destroyed from within. All we want is to be left in peace. He looked somewhat broken and crestfallen, but angry. And what he was saying really was that the defections of some of his members were going to be the undoing and the unmasking of Jim Jones and People's Temple and what was going on inside of Jonestown. Get out now, I can still make deadline. Where's Ryan? I'm staying back to help with the rest of the defectors. I mean, there's more. Yeah, only he's not saying so. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Everybody ready? Jim, why are you so upset? There are only 15 people leaving out of nearly 1,000. I mean, if 400 people were leaving, then I'd be worried. Things were spiraling out of control. There was a crack that had opened, and the crack was continuing to open. Jones was losing control, and the whole community, in my opinion, was going to crack open completely. 
It's only 15 people. When I get back, I'm going to report to Congress that of the 60 people cited by the concerned relatives, none of them wanted to leave. They said they were completely happy. Wait, wait. Hey, room for one more? There's no way he's a defector. Why are you leaving? I'll tell you later. All right. This is a wonderful thing you've got going Well, it's not me. I guess, um... This changes things, doesn't it? Some things, but not everything. That convinced the congressman not stay behind and process any more defectors that he needed to leave with us Thanks. on the truck. Uh, hey, you're bleeding, congressman. It isn't mine. What happened? A minor disagreement. We were in serious danger. Hey, let's roll! Because the congressman was, in some ways, our protector. To see him with blood spattered on his shirt from his assailant and all disheveled showed just how precarious our situation was. I think we wanted to move as quickly as possible down that dirt road and get on a plane with the defectors. When that truck is pulling away, I have no faith whatsoever that we're ever going to get out of there. Saturday, November 18th, I headed out to Temple headquarters in Lamaha Gardens to see my daughter. Leanne. Leanne? Uh, when I first saw Leanne, it was like nothing was between us. Come inside. We're just about to sit down. We hugged and, you know, and kissed, and it was just, uh, it was just wonderful to see her. I wish you could see the, the wonderful work, the great work that we do. You see, there's nothing to be concerned about. And I know she felt the same way to see me. <laughs> How long were you thinking of staying? A couple of weeks. Maybe even a month we could tour around. You could show me things. Why don't you two sit down to dinner? Everything's in the kitchen. I won't be a minute. It is so good to see you, Leanne. It's been hard. And I... I I just want to get to know you again, and you me. Would that be, would that be all right? You must be hungry. <laughs> Come on. Revenge meant go out and kill people. Concerned relatives first, maybe members of the congressman's party, but those who had turned against us would have been considered the worst enemies. 
It just took one spark. It's time. It's time. One thread of in in insanity to unravel the whole works. White night. White night. I'm pulling, and I'm pulling. I'm reeling it in. And finally, I yank it up. It's a tire. <laughs> Not a tire. <laughs> Just like in the movies. And there I am, Buster Keaton, looking at it. Yeah. Here's a call for you. just gotten a message and Leanne came down and Leanne was having dinner with her father and Leanne was told by Sharon Leanne the orders just come through we have to die okay she very calmly took the news, and I was just struck by that. Well, this is really real, and, and how surreal that was. Should I go back to dinner? You better have him leave, your father. This is a 21-year-old girl who's just been told, end the dinner with your father, because we're going to have to kill ourselves so many words and I was just I was overwhelmed with um, fear at that point just dread and fear of what must be going down at Jonestown he is considered by many to be a great general leader and war hero yet there are those who consider him a butcher a terrorist and a war criminal which side is the truth you decide sherman's march tonight at nine as only the history channel can bring you id arc media is the official publisher of the verizon yellow pages and home to superpages.com delivering billions of print and online searches every year so anywhere, anytime, find the answers you need and the things you want from your home or anywhere else. IDR Media. Vaughn into the windup in his first offering. Just a bit outside. It was a perfect strike, and you know it. Of course, if this chump were watching in direct TV HD, he'd have made the right call. It's broadcast in 1080i, which means it's cool. Now, let's see how this bruise looks in HD. Vaughn into his motion and the pitch. Oh. Uh -oh. For the most sports in HD, you got to get DirecTV. Now, see, when people think of Geico, right, they think of car insurance and, of course, saving money. But sometimes that can lead even the savviest driver astray. Take, for example, the motorcycle owner. He calls Geico wanted to save money on his car insurance, only to realise that he doesn't actually own a car. Well, needless to say, he's quite embarrassed, isn't he? Doesn't matter. Geico insures motorcycles and ATVs as well. That way, no one ends up looking foolish. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. There's going to be a limited production run out of Milan this year. Um, you know what, let me just show you, because it's slightly easier that way. Yes, you see, um, August, for example, is quite heavy. Hi there. Our demographic is expanding. What we can offer you is a sound strategic partner to help take your product to the next level. Oh, yeah. Now through April 30th, simply sign your name. Your... During the Lincoln Signature event. 
Now drive any 07 Lincoln with zero cash due at signing, including the new Lincoln MKZ with its award-winning interior. Get zero first month's payment, zero down, and zero cash due at signing on Lincoln MKZ for $386 a month. Offer ends April 30th. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer now. Can't talk now. He's gone. Busy! I can't get that. I'm in the zone over here. Yeehaw. You know how FedEx helped us with all our shipping needs? Overnight, ground, even the heavy stuff. I don't know. And with fast, reliable deliveries and flexible pickups, I don't think Scott's gotten used to not being so busy. Work your work, busy bee! Grow your business with customized shipping solutions from FedEx. There's been a scorcher sighting. A scorcher. It's back. It's a hot one. Scorcher. A large shipment of the liquid poison, potassium cyanide, had been delivered earlier to Jonestown. The cyanide was now mixed with sedatives and tranquilizers and added to a fruit-flavored drink. I think that for Dad to have just gone and found a room somewhere and shot himself, one, I don't think he was capable of shooting himself. Two, I don't think he could bear to go alone. His view of existence was so bleak that he thought it was best for everyone to check out. Full of people with their lies have made our life impossible. And we are sitting on a powder keg here, and I don't think that this is what we want to do with our baby. No? It has been said by the greatest of prophets from time immemorial. No man may take my life from me, but I lay my life down. We have been betrayed. We have been so horribly betrayed. Now, now here's what's going to happen in the matter of a, a few minutes, is that, is that one of the people on the plane is going to... is going to shoot the pilot. And down comes the plane into the jungle, and we had better not have any of our children left when it is over, because they will parachute in here on us. When we got to the airstrip, I still had this feeling of impending doom, that something was going to happen. As people were boarding, a tractor load of men returned to the airstrip. It was clear to me that there was no real reason for them to be coming back. There might well be trouble. It was decided that Monica and myself were going to go onto the small plane, so that plane was boarded first. Sorry about this, folks. I'm sorry, but let's, let's get safe, get on the plane. When do I pick you up tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you like. I like 7 in the morning. OK. Good. The end. This is bull man. I needed to get away from it. I needed to find out for more information, maybe gather ourselves. And with the hope that we would learn something other than this, the madness we were hearing from Sharon. My ex-wife came out from downstairs where the radio room was and kissed me goodbye on the cheek. I just want to thank you. And when she kissed me goodbye, that was the, that was really 
goodbye. You know, I was feeling rather buoyant and overall. You know, we had plans for the next day. I felt we're making certain inroads. I think they got, I felt they got the message. See you tomorrow, 7 a.m. Okay. Pegasus this hotel, please. So I felt very upbeat and I felt that we're making progress. Getting back on the plane. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, that's that's the Everybody spread out! They're killing everyone! fire died down then there were several deliberate shots over the space of maybe a half minute <laughs> like that as long as there's life there's hope someday everybody dies someday that hope runs out i just like to choose my own kind of a death for a change i'm i'm, I'm tired of being tormented to hell that's what i'm tired of i ain't ready to die i don't think that you are but uh I look about at the babies, and I think they deserve to live, you know? Yeah, I agree. I agree, but don't they also deserve much more? Don't they deserve peace? Yeah, right. Yes. We all came here for peace. And, and have we had it? No. Just hold on, sister. We made it a beautiful day, and let's make it a beautiful day. That's what I say. Yeah. I tried to stop this thing from happening, but now I see. I see it is the will. It's the will of sovereign being that this happened to us, that we lay down our lives as a protest against what is being done. You know, the criminality of people, the cruelty of, of people. Now, I, I just know, I know there is no point. There's no point to this. What comes now? What comes now? It's all over. The congressman has been murdered.
Sharon Amos is one of the small percentage of the temple membership that I viewed as a, a zealot. And um, certainly by the end days, she was every bit as sick as my father was. <laughs> I know that woman loved her children dearly. And this is in no way an explanation or an excuse or a defense of what she did. But for her, she thought she was saving them. We give them our children, and our children will suffer forever. We win, we win when we go down. treats most athletes foot in just one week's use new lamisil defense four long weeks but lotrimin ultra so powerful nothing cures faster lotrimin ultra the one week killer cure idr media is the official publisher of the horizon yellow pages and home to superpages.com delivering billions of print and online searches every year so anywhere anytime Find the answers you need and the things you want from your home or anywhere else. IDARC Media. People ask me all kinds of questions. Hey, who goes there? Orkin Man, reporting for termite inspection. Termites? Do termites really eat wood? A colony eats 24 hours a day. We're doomed. Not on my watch. At Orkin, knowledge is our best weapon. It's time to play Take On Orbits. This week's winner is you. That's right, you. Go to Orbits.com during the Hotel Mega Sale and save $100 on five nights at select hotels nearly anywhere in the world. Just Orbits and go. With the Trio 700P and the Verizon Wireless Network behind you, work, family, and everything in between is right at your fingertips. And it's all on America's most reliable wireless broadband network. The Trio 700P smartphone. It's the perfect device for the business of your life. Verizon Wireless. It's the network. Krylon Fusion is the revolutionary paint that bonds to plastic on a molecular level. Without any sanding or priming, its unique formula provides a smooth finish that won't flake off. Krylon Fusion, the no-prep super bond paint for plastic. So a summit at Ford gets the insane idea to test the edge crossover 0 to 60 against the BMW X5. BMW X5, it's fast. Scary fast, but get this, the edge wins. The edge beats the BMW. It beats the BMW by 0.2 seconds. Is that a lot? That's plenty. Do Germans count in seconds? They count in German, but the edge still wins. True story? True story. The spirit of a sports car, versatility of an SUV, the all-new... Kerry, way to nail that conference call. <laughs> yeah. Stevie, looking sharp. You've got a big vision for your business. <laughs> Janet, <laughs> looks great in here. Well, yes, it is a new tie. And the Charter Business Bundle can help you get there. With internet and video in one package, you can get what you need to make your business as big as you want to be. Who wants to get the boss a cup of coffee? Hello? Hello, my name is Sandy Daniels, General Sales Manager at Dave Kirk Automotive. Whether you live right here in Crossfield, Fairfield Glade, Cooper, or Sparta, we want Dave Kirk Automotive to be your first choice when purchasing a new car or truck. At Dave Kirk Automotive, we carry a full line of General Motors products. From Chevrolet to Cadillac, to Buick to Pontiac, 
the GMC, just like this one right here. So come by and see us today. Find out why there is a Dave Kirk difference. Better selection, better prices. That's our promise to you. There's no convulsions with it. It's just simple. Just please get some. You know, so much of it feels like fate. Every possible ingredient that could be thrown into this disastrous recipe was thrown in there. You know, you've got my father who's already unraveling. Are you going to separate yourself from who shot the congressman? I don't know who shot him. And you've got uh, a demoralized, malnourished, exhausted populace. And the people of Jonestown were just, they were also crazy uh, on some level because of the, what they'd been put through by my father. It's just simple. Just please get some. Just, just get, get it. it. And then who were the first to die? The children were the first to die. I'm sure many people believed that they were lost, that they were going to come in with force, and their children were going to be taken from them, and they were going to, they were going to die or, or suffer greatly. All they're doing is taking a drink. They're taking the policy. That, that's what death is. And even those that still wanted to get out of it, where were they going to go at that point? How are they going to get out of it? It's, it's about more than... You know, Jim Jones saying, line up and take the poison, it's time to go. No, no, no! protesting the conditions of an inhumane world. I saw 
several bodies on the ground. It appeared from the wounds of some of them that temple members had gone around and finished them off with shots to the head. Don Harris of NBC. Congressman Ryan. Greg Robinson, the photographer with me. Bob Brown of NBC. Patricia Parks, one of the defectors. All of them were dead. During the ambush at the airstrip, five people were murdered, including Congressman Leo Ryan. Eleven others were wounded but survived, including Ryan's aide, Jackie Spear, and defector, Monica Bagby. Jones sent gunmen to the airstrip to kill the congressman and others so that he could then turn to his followers and say, no country, no place wants us any longer because some of our people have now killed a congressman. There's no hope. Till the last possible minute, you cling to, to hope that people are alive. And a young woman came out and uh, walked up to me and said, Sharon's killed herself and killed her children. She believed that her children were going to be taken to horrible circumstances and that death was better for them. As I opened the door, the first thing I saw was the babies and, and you know, they were dead, clearly dead, clearly gone. It was just, just horrible. And Leanne wanted so much to, to, to please her mother, the love of a daughter for a mother. I, there's probably nothing like it. And what I learned later was that they actually killed each other by slitting each other's throats. I came to several hours later, and I knew it was several hours later because it was dark. I could hear people walking through the bushes. What it was, in fact, was people looking for survivors. Jonestown Paradise Lost is brought to you by ID Arc Media. ID Arc Media is the official publisher of the Verizon Yellow Pages and home to superpages.com, delivering billions of print and online searches every year. So anywhere, anytime, find the answers you need and the things you want from your home or anywhere else. Media. Your lawn, threatened by two types of weeds. Most weed killers control either lawn weeds or crabgrass, but not both. Why do half the job when Bear Advanced All-in-One Lawn Weed and Crabgrass Killer does it all? Backed by Bear's proven science, it's the only ready-to-spray product that eliminates lawn weeds plus crabgrass without harming your lawn. Just hook to your hose and go. Nothing's faster or easier for a weed-free lawn. Bear Advanced. Better science, better results. Introducing more horsepower than a Cord or Camry. Introducing 32 highway miles per gallon. Introducing standard side curtain airbags. Introducing a price that's over $1,000 less than a Cord or Camry. The all new Chrysler Sebring. So many new features, formal introductions were in order. The all new Chrysler Sebring, starting at $18,995. Discover America's hottest products at your Chrysler dealer.
if only getting to some stores wasn't such a hassle. Fortunately, Walgreens has convenient parking at thousands of locations, many that never close, so you're in and out in no time. Do you know your credit score? Do you know what's in your credit report? You can find out for free right now at FreeCreditReport.com. Knowing my credit score helped me save money on my home loan. Now we can monitor all three of our national credit reports every day. It helps us save money and check for potential identity theft. Just a few clicks and I get my credit report and credit score free. Log on now to FreeCreditReport.com. Free credit Offer replies with enrollment triple advantage. at 9, as only the History Channel can bring you. Own the show you're watching on DVD for only $29.95. Call 1-800-708-1776 or visit shophistorychannel.com, your source for all your History Channel favorites. Only a handful of temple members inside Jonestown survived. Some escaped into the jungle. 76-year-old Hyacinth Thrash had hidden under her bed. everything that day. I lost brothers and sisters and dear friends, people I'd known my entire life and the dearest person on the planet to me, which is my mother. She resisted and physically restrained um, until the last child died and then she walked up and took the poison herself. My father, well, I can tell you I've never grieved his death. I remember feeling disgust that he didn't go the way everybody else went. Not only did he have to be shot in the head, but he had to have somebody else do it. And I still believe it was because he couldn't bear to go out the way he was seeing other people go out. and I blame Jim Jones. It's as if he was determined to make sure nobody won. If he wasn't going to win, nobody was going to win. The people that died in Jonestown were my family. And they were my family when my family wasn't my family. And they're all just, just really few wonderful, good people who wanted to make a positive change in the world. One of the myths of Jonestown was that it was a mass suicide, whereas in fact, it was a mass murder. They lie, they lie. What can I do about liars? Are you people going to leave us? I just beg you, please leave us. It happened because Jim Jones didn't want word to get out to the outside world 
what was going on inside his community. He didn't want the defectors to tell their stories, and they didn't want the reporters to tell their stories, and he didn't want the congressman to tell his story. The first time I thought about the consequences of Jonestown and what had happened when I was in a military hospital in Puerto Rico, and uh, a military psychiatrist came to speak to me and tell me that my son was dead. The loss of my son has been the most difficult thing in my life to deal with. My sense of remorse, my sense of guilt, my going back to that moment a million times and making a different decision. To find some level of peace and some level of forgiveness has been the most challenging thing for me. I love my daughter very much. I've lost her. I'm, I'm suffering, truly suffering with the grief of that all these, you know, for years. And I came to see that I was really holding on to the grief as if I, as if I, if I let it go, I'd be letting go of her. And I thought, that's not right. And I came to see that I could hold my daughter as a loving memory forever and let the grief go. There were a lot of reasons I think that people ended up taking the poison. I don't know who took it, who was injected. I think more than anything, it was out of loyalty to everybody else there. Um, in my case, if I had been there, I know I had a strong will to live, but I think that it was so important to me, or how I was perceived by the people of my community was so important to me that it might have taken me to my death. Ask yourself, what would someone have to tell you? Or what would someone have to do to you to get you to do something that you couldn't possibly believe you, you were capable of? And examine that. Learn from it. Don't judge it. Don't stand separate from it. Be willing to stand in the shoes of the people you're judging. And I hope that, you know, 900 plus people, that they died and the way they died. Um, might offer us something so that their lives won't be in vain. history, spirit, culture, and landmarks. From coast to coast, explore the unique stories of the states. Premieres next on the History Channel.